I'm really sad to say that today we are finishing, hopefully finishing, the last level of this game. Now that doesn't mean we're done with it, because there's a bunch of optional challenges I missed, a bunch of great comments and suggestions telling me what the different ways I could write some bits of code. So now let's go straight into it. Goodbye humans. I really hope we're gonna be killing people. Oh, that's a heart. Oh, look, a computer. No manager this time. This is our computer overlord. Well, fuck me. Array of four realistic colors. Oh, you know what? I don't care. Yeah, that was funny. Sure. Computer humor. Whatever. Hashtag not all machines enslave humans. That's nice. I, I really like this. So basically, that's the developer telling us to appreciate those falling green leaves and this healthy orange city glow. Yeah, no doors in that building, for sure. Let's dive into that exit hole down below. But the last worker who leaves, if you wouldn't mind, you just click the drop down and say goodbye. Good luck out there, everyone. <laughs> the last worker and only the last worker must say goodbye. Now, I, I almost teared up, cause this is really emotional, but it seems like it's a legit coding challenge. <laughs> uh, first of all, everyone say goodbye. Yeah, and we fucked up already. Okay. Oh, f you know what? Fuck you. I mean, I want you to be emotional and you're telling me to, you know, code shit again. And we've got four each direction. Once more. I just don't know, man. Nearest hole, probably. And just... I, I, I don't know. This seems to be the last person that's gonna be alive. There's four people, four people here. Four steps away. Four people here, five steps away. This person, however, is four steps from this, so indeed, this lady is probably gonna be the last person to leave. And I somehow need to tell her that. Holy shit. So let's say, if, uh, no, for each direction, if that direction is, uh, so memory two, if that's a hole, you step in the hole. Oh, uh, so you complain because there's no jump. So wait, let me... Let me loop that so the code doesn't stop. What? Through the convenient hole at the bottom of the room. Oh, what a fucking idiot. I'm a muppet. Uh, no, okay. So, so, so this hole. Oh, and there's an arrow pointing to it. Okay, now I see. So they're all gonna be walking down, right? So for each direction, if below you there is either nothing or a hole you step to it and let's loop that otherwise i mean really let's do otherwise this is just i i don't have any way any clever way of solving this otherwise there might be nothing to the bottom left so this for these people they want to go diagonally and uh, that's step bottom left otherwise otherwise you step bottom right so let's see what this does Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking idiot. Oh, I see. I see. No, 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 no. So just if there's something, nothing below. So just follow the trail, okay? And after you've stepped wherever, if below you there is a hole, but also it's this very hole. So next to you there are walls. So to the left there is a wall and to the right there is a wall as well that's when you're on this spot and you are allowed to step into that hole so now it shouldn't fail and every fuck's sake i see your problem so here we can't have an else branch but another if branch so bottom right there's nothing you step bottom right now finally they should all exit through this hole i think but it's gonna take a long time for them to shuffle, but they're getting there slowly. Okay, great. Now, let's also figure out whether they're the last person or not. So in this area, they are probably gonna want to take a look above. So before stepping, if there isn't a worker and there isn't a worker and there isn't a worker, you tell everyone or wherever goodbye now let's see for idiots saying goodbye but that should really be only on this spot so they should all be shuffling 
and goodbye. Yeah, there was it. One day our space-time coordinates will intersect again. Well, maybe. Goodbye. Now what about the challenges? Okay, fucking idiot, sure. <laughs> right, so that's basically the game, you know, telling me goodbye, you're shit at coding, and your solution sucks. Oh boy. Helpful hint, let's try that. Computer giving me a helpful hint. Have you enjoyed yourself? You followed a long crooked elevator ride to get here. How long did it take me? Long enough? You are more than qualified than me at doing whatever this is. I don't have any hints. Yeah, as expected. I never got any hints. <laughs> just, just in the last challenge. But that was a hint I didn't find helpful. And I've actually solved the challenge and I still don't understand the hint. Anyway, we need to shave off four commands and freaking 50 or 60 even seconds. Now, I, I wouldn't think that shaving off these commands would be helpful because I believe that my solution is really just wrong. What if I do this first? Yeah, it worked. Is it faster? Yeah, uh, no. Okay, not faster. So below you there is nothing. What if I say below you there is a worker? You're trying to step down. And a worker, a worker. Yeah, it obviously doesn't work for these people here. So what if there is nothing or a worker? That's probably gonna be even slower because you have to check for two things, right? My, my point is that, for example, this person here, the shortest way to the hole is down. But the people are in the way, so there isn't nothing. So he might take, you know, the long way around to the hole. But it probably doesn't matter since there's a line of people waiting for the hole anyway, right? But you can see already that this is the shorter route. They said goodbye, good. And it was faster. Nice. And did it help? Not at all. Still an idiot? Yes, please. Now the middle people are gonna be gone first. So I don't think I need to check for them here. So only if you're here and here or here are no people, you can tell everyone goodbye. I think that was... You see? Middle people gone first. I think that was 87 seconds, wasn't it? Let's see. Is this faster? No. So, so all these thingies within one if statement are fine. Why do I have this for each direction? Oh, what the f Am I an idiot? Why do I have that? Why the shit do I have that? If below you there's nothing, step there. If to the left of you is nothing, step there. Right, step, under, step. But yeah, that, that should work, right? And probably it's gonna be faster since they don't have to cycle around them. Is it? Oh, no. Is it maybe even slower? <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Honestly, don't know. I, I, I would probably have to sleep on this again. Because just the base of this solution is probably wrong. And I'm making this way too complicated. Any helpful hints are appreciated. Any fun comments and not fun comments as well. Any insults? Well, if you disguise those insults to look like jokes, sure, go for it. See you next time. Oh, all levels complete. Congratulations. Yes, thank you.